at how much better that is. That is a perfect dimple. Man, is that nice. Hello everyone, this video is going to be a bit of a side quest for the truck. Um, moving along really well. And I have an idea in my brain that I can't shake. So in this video, I'm going to take this panel that we made to hold the radiator and try to make it not so boring looking on this face. So what I'd like to do is uh, dimple die a solid flat oval in both of these sections just to give this panel a little bit of a feature look to it. The factory radiator sport sits up here so when you look in the engine bay side this is all radiator so you don't see it. You see this nice side with the ovals cut in it. Uh, but when you look through the grill, and even especially when the grill is not in, you see these, uh, you know, less than exciting panel. So we're going to try and fix that by designing a dimple die on CAD that I hope to 3D print. And then see if the press is going to make it explode or give me what I want out of this panel. So, um... Yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so what we got on the printer right now, as you can see, it's two different pieces. This is two halves to this little 3D printed uh, step die that I'm hoping to make successfully, I guess is the word. We're making it right now. But anyway, my plan is to uh, press a little oval. I'll be able to butt the panel directly up against this lip here. And then I also made this lip long enough that it will act as an alignment tab for that uh, lower die as well. So I didn't want to make a traditional pull uh, dimple die. We have those here, obviously, but I didn't want to make a traditional one because obviously with air going through it, it's going to allow air past the radiator cooling fins and like I said you know a couple of videos ago I want to make sure the end goal is that every bit of air that can be forced through this radiator is forced through it so kind of a useless little thing once the grill's on and everything but I've been staring at it long enough now that it looks kind of unfinished and uncared for so I'm on a little side quest uh, for that which is completely silly because I haven't even designed the other panel for the other side of the radiator cooling stack mount yet. But anyway, unfortunately, you can see my print has lifted a little bit, which is rare, but we also had a cold snap last night and I did not leave the heat on or have not turned it on for the season yet. So I think that's what affected me. Um, the print is still turning out well, so I'm hoping that it's just the top few layers that are kind of warped and I can kind of power through it. I'm going to let it finish still and try it on the scrap piece just to see how it does. I've never used um, a 3D printed, especially in PLA, as a, a press tool. So worst case scenario, there's going to be a good test either way. Um, but yeah, you can start to see the profile come through. This thing's taking forever, so I really should upgrade to a better printer, but I got lots of other stuff on the go, so it's not that big a deal. All right, this one obviously got finished, and you'll remember it had a big warp in it. So I ran it through the bandsaw, which didn't really work. And that flattened out okay, but this one obviously I just didn't bother with. Um, so I gave it a try anyway. It actually worked really well. That is a quarter inch deep uh, like metal feature. So you can see, again, this is a scrap piece. This is the first one we made with the spacing wrong at the top there. So I'm pretty happy with this. That took 14 ton on the press without breaking. The features are a little, it's not quite as sharp as I'd like. I don't know if you can really tell. See how the top radius here has, you know, nice and sharp kind of edge to it. The, the actual feature itself doesn't really. And I think mostly that's because of how deep it tried to push it. So I redrew it, made this an eighth of an inch thick, and then um, I've 
actually also made the ends here a little bit longer. If the ends are a little bit longer, when this metal gets stretched, when it comes back down, it'll actually, you know, fold it flat again. So we redrew it and it's finished now. You can see the feature is a little bit less deep. It really doesn't need to be a quarter inch deep. Like an eighth of an inch is gonna be plenty. So this one came out perfectly flat. I left the heat on for the weekend. So you can see side by side how much deeper that feature is compared to this one. So we're gonna give that a go shortly. On this piece, I'm hoping that it comes out a little bit sharper. And hopefully this is our good one. This is what we had going on here. So that, I'm trying to do this one handed as almost possible. So you just put it in the press like that. I put a big heavy piece of steel on the top and bottom so this thing can't flex in any way. And uh, yeah, obviously when I do the good one, I'll measure and make sure it's 100% center. This one's not really centered up and down. But yeah, when we do the good run, I'm just trying to get the profile right right now. And uh, I'm hoping that's our guy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna give this guy a test. So, I'm gonna line it up. And like I said, I'm going to place it on. This piece of steel. Try and line this up as best I can. I'll place this on top. Hoping that it doesn't do that. Just want to make sure that it's the same front to back. And I need an airline, of course. How could you forget that? You're not an idiot. Let's see if I can toss that in there just so it keeps it there. Stay. You are back. Okay, we're back. Wind has been acquired. So, once again, let's just give it a girl. I don't know if you can see that, but that's 25 ton on that right now, and nothing happened. Which is insane to think that I 3D printed that. All right, here we go. Oh, that's so much better. Look at how much better that is. That is a perfect dimple. Man, is that nice. Okay, well, I think we nailed it. I think this is gonna be our final piece. Look at that. Super, super happy with that compared to this one where you can see the ends are kind of, again, like I said, they're kind of deformed. This one is just perfect. Man, that's awesome. And the die has absolutely nothing wrong with it. Not even a slight ding or anything in it. That's pretty awesome. I'm super happy with that. Okay, so uh, we're going to call this a massive su success. A massive success in this panel. These dimples turned out really, really good. This is 100 thou aluminum. so. Super happy with that. It gave it just enough, you know, pizzazz to not look like just a flat, ugly ass aluminum sheet. So, uh, yeah, if you want to 3D print some dies, it work. Good news is the dimple die worked. Bad news is we're not using this panel. Bye.